Welcome back guys to this clown's garage. In this video I'll show you how to change control arm bushings. Now these type of bushings can be found on many GM vehicles. Uh, this particular bushing from this control arm is from a 2007 Chevy Impala. So anything from a 2006 to 2013 Chevy Impala will be exact same way. Um, I'm going to change this bushing. I'm also going to change that bushing. So I'll show you how to do that. The bushing I'm putting in is a Moog part number six, K6712 and as you can see there's a dot here in this bushing. That means the dot goes towards the front of the vehicle. So this bushing should go in like this. Now if you look at this bushing that's already installed from the factory, they installed it wrong. The, the open slots should be this way. As you can see, you can see where they pointed theirs. That's why this bushing cracked all along there. Because this bushing moves back and forth like this. So it cracked right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up the bushing with fire. Let it all melt out and drop where the aluminum foil is. There's a flathead. and just work it out. Just like that. Make sure you have water handy and a fire extinguisher or you can do it outside. That's the rubber bushing. All right, now you're pretty much left with the metal shell. This is pushed in like this. So what you want to do is you want to cut along the line of the shell over here, then hit it with a chisel on the sides and push it out. So there's many different ways of doing this. You could use a sawzall to cut, but be careful you don't cut the actual control arm. Or you could pick up something like this from Home Depot for a couple of bucks, a little saw attachment. Just go in here and saw it until you break through the ring. As you can see, it's cutting right through. Alright, so that slot is pretty much done. It's cut. All right, now that I made that cut over there, I'm just gonna take a chisel with a hammer and start bending it inwards and out. As you can see it's bending over here.
just like that. Now take some fine sandpaper, just go in here in the ring. Make it nice and smooth. So to install the bushing, is, the next thing you gotta do is go to your auto parts dealer. In this particular case, I went to AutoZone. Uh, what they, they have a program to loan out tools. What you do is, say this costs 100 bucks, you put down 100 bucks on your credit card, you have 90 days to return it. If you don't return 90 days, it's yours. So you're basically putting down the price of the tool. Now over here, what you'll need to do this job is a ball joint press kit. And this is uh, OEM kit number 27023. And what we'll be using out of this one is this. This is a ball joint press kit. So we'll put that aside. And this and this. Now to get a better fit for this, um, you could also use these sleeves, but I like to use this kit over here is OEM 27166. Also same deal if you're an auto parts dealer. AutoZone has this also. Now you go, like I said, to any auto parts dealer. We're gonna use this one here. These are different size sleeves, cups, and this one here. So I'll show you how to use all these together to press this bushing back in. All right, now that I finished cleaning out the ring over here with some sandpaper, I'm gonna get my lube, my favorite personal mm -hmm. lubricant, and just put a little bit over here. You can also use WD-40 or PB Blast or whatever your favorite personal lubricant is. So. Just so this could go in much better, much smoother, because we all know lube makes everything better. So now ready to press it in. All right. Now, like I said, these slats should be on the sides of the car, one facing inwards, one facing out towards the wheel, because the bushing goes like this. And as you can see here, the dot is facing forward. So that's how it should be, just like that. So I'm just going to leave that in there. Also make sure you're putting it correctly, so make note how it's coming, how it came out. Now on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this from that OEM kit. It's going to go all around that face over there. Then I'm going to use this, just like that, put it over there. That's what's going on this side, to push it in. And this side, simply from that kit again, I'm going to use this over here. So as you're pushing it in, it's going to go inside this cup. So this is going to go all outside, outside this ring over here. Just like that. Now this one here, you see the thread piece here? It's going to go in like this. And you could thread in the rod over here which is a 7 8 socket or 22 millimeter socket you can put on this end and just screw it down and push it through. That's what she said. So now I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything and show you how it goes in. First thing I'm going to do is put some lube in where these threads are. So it's easier to turn this. Next thing is put this rod through. Next thing is you put this, like I showed you before, around the outside lip of the bushing, just like that. You put this on, the threaded rod on this side because you're pushing in that way. And you put this cup on this side. Just like that. And now you crank down. And the closer you're going down, that's when you align it better. So just like that. All right. She's ready. Let's crank her down. As you can see, it's going in.
And I put this towards the control arm because we're going this way and it won't turn around. It won't go around. And once it's seated, you should be good. And that's it. Now you can just take it off. As you can see, it's seated in. That's what you're looking for. This one here, what you want to do is you want to cut this lip of the bushing off here and here. All around and pop it off. So I'm going to go ahead and saw, saw that off. You can also use a sawzall if you want. I'm just going to use my little handy dandy little saw here for now. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Come off just like that. Now to make this easier to take out, I'm using a 1364 drill bit. I'm just gonna drill some holes around here. So now let's go ahead and drill this bad boy out. Drill a few holes. Alright, the more holes you drill, the easier it is to take out. Now, back to the torch and screwdriver trick. Coming out like butter. Yeah, buddy. Now, you might say, why don't you use the ball joint press tool? Well, I couldn't. You can't on this control arm because it butts up over here. And you can't really put anything because of the angle. So, plus I like uh, putting things on fire. I love that stuff. And nobody else on YouTube actually shows you how to take them out with fire. So that's the easiest way to take these things out. And I could also use this vise, but not a lot of people have a vise, so fire a lot of people have. So that's how you take it out. Now to install a new one. All right, now I sandpapered it in here, and it's nice and smooth now. What I'm gonna put in here is Raybestos part number 565133. And that's a two-piece bushing with the insert, the metal insert. So first thing you gotta do here is spray some silicone spray, silicone lube, right in there. And make sure it goes all the way around. So I'm just gonna lather this bad boy up. All right, so this is what it comes with, these two pieces and the metal. So you take some lube and you spray around the bushing too. Be a little messy. Lather them up. 
insert that bad boy right there and the same thing with this one insert him over there take the metal the middle one and lather him up and you can insert him in just like that and you're done it's all she wrote thanks for watching subscribe to my channel you know you want to and remember if this client can do it so can you so like me share me do what the hell you want to me on there there's plenty of clients to go around toodles